What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Ooh, Lockmere Serpent. We are doing a Throne of Innistrad draft from Eldrain. I was gone for the past few days, but you, if you're watching on YouTube, you probably didn't know that. But if you're watching on YouTube, do me a favor. Check out patreon.com slash franklapore. If you want a way to support the channel, not just mooch all this free content that comes out every single day, patreon.com slash franklapore is a great way to do it for one or two dollars a month. Not a week, not a video, every month, one dollar bill. It's not a lot, guys. Go check it out. It's a great way to support the channel. And if you have Twitch Prime, which is Amazon Prime and Twitch, you get a free sub every month. So head on over to the channel, twitch.tv slash Frank and give me them subs. It's a great way to support the channel for, for free if you have Twitch Prime. I'm going to take this guy. For obvious reasons. Jeez. Oh, well. And then we get baked into a pie. And charm sleep. Oh, shoot. We could take this edge wall end caper. I bet this flaxen intruder comes back. But we're not. We're going to take the baked into a pie. Hypnotic spe sprite? Spectre? Sprite? Spectre? Where have you been? The people need to know. You worried your poor mother. Did I? You missed a great time. I, fuck. I was so, I'm so sad I missed the Magianos. What, what McGimp is referring to is uh, him and my friends Chris and Chris all went to Magiana also they were at BlizzCon. It's kind of a tradition. And uh, I was not there for that. And uh, No, don't like that. I think it's just Bognaughty. Castle Lockdwain's good. I mean, if you have no cards, you can draw a card like it's a reasonable cost. If you have one card in hand, it's still pretty reasonable, but... I think Bognati's probably just better, right? It's just removal and evasion. I was watching Caleb the other day, who made a simple program to draft cube with his viewers, and then upload the draft list them you don't play each other. Basically, never ending cube. Thought maybe you'd find that interesting as a cube. That is interesting. That is interesting, actually. How would you get the cards? I mean, it feels like there's a lot of cube cards that people just wouldn't have. Uh, Moonlit Scavengers seems good. So Tiny also seems good. I think we're going to go with Moonlit Scavengers here. I don't know. So Tiny. I think So Tiny's good. I think everyone else is underrating that card. Uh, didn't say Please or Wishful Merfolk, I think, are what I'm leaning towards here. I do like good counter spells. Franklin this past weekend just wasn't... Oh, man. You're killing me, dude. Mike's dad misses a great time with Mike his whole life. Wow. Wow. Oh, Tome Raider. Do I like Tome Raider over, over Queen of Ice? I think I do. Oh, my God. Chris, if you come visit me next year. Oh, my God. Don't tease. Don't you tease me. Don't you play with my emotions. Uh, I guess it's just Mystic. I'll just take the Mystics. I don't care about Crashing Drawbridge that much. Ooh, it's so tiny. Wicked Guardian's decent because there's a lot of 1-3s you can pick up. Plus, it just trades with everything. Like, yeah, the Queen of Ice is also two threes, I guess. I actually like Scarecrow a lot. I think Vanjir's Paladin's frequently a 2-2. Two -two. Whereas the 2-4 is nice. It plays well with Wicked Guardian. It's an artifact for your Moonlit Scavengers. It does help fix if you need, like, a double black or a double blue and you don't have it. It actually has a lot going on for it. Just none of the things it has going on for it are super powerful. They're just... Efficient, I guess? I don't know how this berry blue tastes. We're going to find out. It's like the bluest, the bluest beverage coloring ever. Oh, another castle. So many castles. Uh, there's literally two cards in our colors in this pack. Tomorrow's Red Dead Redemption 2 for, uh, for PC. I already have it for PlayStation 4, so I'm probably not going to get it again. Unless Beer Man Man wants to gift me a copy of that, too. Um, it's pro 
probably just didn't say please number two. I don't love it. Charm Sleep I do, however, like. I also like Reeve Soul. I think Charm Sleep's probably better. Even though it does give us a lot of three drops. I think it's better. What are you gonna do? This is also technically a three drop. Outlaw's Merriment. Jeez. I mean, I think the best card here is Drought on the Lock. Especially when we have Double Didn't Say Please. Charm Sleep number two is good. I think Drought on the Lock is probably just better. It's a little more versatile. It is a counterspell. Into the Story and Vantress Gargoyle. I think I like Vantress Gargoyle a lot here. That guy's good. Oh, Thunderous Snapper. Someone said Thunderous Snapper is a trap on YouTube, and I was like... Buddy, this is a 4-4 four, for four, 4. And every deck I'm playing this guy, he's on color, so it's not like I'm struggling to cast him. I actually kind of like Witches of in here. Like, we don't have a ton of creatures, though. But I guess, like, being able to sack a Tome Raider or, like, a Wicked Guardian if they're targeted seems pretty good. Is my volume low? Uh, I don't think it's I don't think it's very low. I'm hitting the yellow instead of the red. You could try turning your volume up. That sounded way more sarcastic than I meant it to be. <laughs> Why don't you try turning your volume up, you friggin' nerd? Gamma set, more like grandma set, because uh, you can't hear anything. Because your hearing is bad. Got him! What a little Mitch. I'm going to take this Sage of the Falls. If run away at one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's ten. I always, I always count the cards. I'm like, oh, I could just look up here. There's going to be nine cards left in the cell, so like maybe run away. Ugh, if any of these three come back, or even Corridor Modern, I'll be grateful, but I'm not going to hold my breath. I'm trying to figure if my laptop's volume sucks. Is it, is, it, is, it, is it a new laptop? Is it a new-to-you laptop? I like Cauldron and I like Merfolk. I think we just want the Merfolk. We just want to be able to, to not die. That's literally how I live every day of my life. Two years or so, just to remember you being this quiet. I'm. I mean, I feel like I'm hitting the. I'm hitting the high. Can you, Can you guys tell me if if my volume is low? I didn't. I did. Nothing has been changed. Let's put it that way. No settings were harmed in the making of this stream. Wow, that run away together and coming back was super nice. You sound like a Yankee now? I don't even know what that means. Is that because I was in the North? Trust me, buddy. I've always been a Yankee at heart. Dang it! These packs have been terrible, dude. Look at this pack. Like, we have Mantle of Ties, Reaper, Skewer, and Signpost Scarecrow as our only, like, playables in this pack. I might just take the Lovestruck Beast to take it. It's not even worth anything. Like, I'm just, like, out of, I'm taking it out of spite. I mean, I guess we could take Giant Skewer, but, like, that card sucks too, right? <sighs> Giant Skewer it is. Here at Mantle. Oh man, look at all these guys that we can't even really mess with. <sighs> what if I raise the volume on the computer? Nope, that doesn't do anything. Okay, so yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. 
I haven't raised or lowered any settings since my last stream, so I have no idea what the low volume would be attributed to. That's a wild pit. Oh, stolen by the Fae? Oh, that's exciting to go with our Lockmere Serpent. Oh yeah, that's that's the juiciest. Wow, now we see two of these guys. So we've seen like six of these different cards. Just none that are good for us. Look at this out muscle here. No one's got any respect. Alright, do we have any knights? I don't think so. The knights in this in this color combination are pretty sparse. Okay. Oh my god, this kitty cat's in his litter box and he's just fucking kicking up a storm and it's like, dude, just chill out. Let's take sword guy. Oh, here's another one. Seeing them all. Seeing them all. Do we have a Lash of Thorns? We do. I'll just take this Steel Gaze Griffin. That guy's kind of poop, but whatever. Um, Into the Story is fine. I'll take Into the Story and play it. Another one of these guys. Okay. Witching Well? That's a good... That's a good good. Another Moonlit Scavengers? I'm okay with it, I guess. Yep. Alright. So... This last pack was kind of trash for us. Might be because I had a new heater and it runs louder than the old one. Yeah, if the heater's on right now, I can definitely see that. I've definitely been like, wow, why is this so low? Sometimes when I'm watching TV and the AC is on. Or not the AC, but like the dishwasher. Or the washer and dryer. I'm like, why is this so low? And then it goes off and I'm like, wow, why is, it so, why is the TV so loud? I don't think we want Witch's Oven. Oh my god, Katie, how are you? Katie, Katie, Katie. I'm gonna... Mm. Mm. I kind of like Witches Oven, even though we have like 14 creatures and we want to like... Take some creatures out, I guess? I don't know. Magic's hard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These are us. Oh, every night. Oh, you. Wow, this is this is this is something, my dudes. Um. Take out one corridor monitor. Kadums. All right, so we need one more cut here. 13 creatures. Is which isn't good enough for 13 creatures? I feel like even if you're able to make one food, it's not bad. And also stolen by the Fae is like 14 creatures. Greetings from Subway, my dude. What up, Super Fritz? I did. I had a great time. I can see cutting one didn't say please. Let's do that. Mystic Sanctuary is nice because it can get us back baked into a pie, baked into a pie, but that's pretty much... Oh, it can also get back stolen by the Fae. Let's do that for sure. Let's 9-8 it. Let's 8-8 eight, eight it. I do want double black for these three cards. We don't actually have that much black, though. Lawman is doing better. Little man, oh, take me by the hand. Can you get me a meatball with mayo, please? And thank you. Oh, God, you guys are... See, the problem is the meatballs are actually in the marinara sauce, right? Like, isn't that... Super fits aren't the meatballs kept in the marinara? So, like, you scoop them out. There's a bin with marinara and meatballs. And you scoop the meatballs out of the marinara, right? And then you put it on the sandwich. So, like, when you get a meatball sub with mayo, you still have marinara in there. And that's really just... It's just too much. Well, that's interesting. <sighs> no matter how hard you scrub, you can never get the... What the shoot? You can never get that marinara out. I agree with you. 
Worthy Knight is a little frightening. Oh, unless they don't play a land or a spell. In which case, okay. It seems gross to me, but I don't have to eat it, so I try to disassociate. That's true. That's a good point. I just need you take the ones you're. I I just need you take the ones you're giving me and wash them off first, then dunk them in mayo, throw in the pepper jack cheese and a couple pickles, and we're good to. I wish I didn't read that whole thing. I feel like it just got worse as we went on. Even meatballs and pickles, like I can't disconnect a meatball from like marinara sauce, right? Like a meatball just doesn't feel like it should go with other condiments. Oh my god. This is a thousand percent a trade I will take. These are hers. Just toss the meatballs in the sink and they're fine, right? Oh god. I'm so sorry for those watching on YouTube that this chat has gone directly off the rails. Oh god. Oh, Jesus. Land. Time to just play Reaper of Night here. Because the thing is, like, if we play this, we have nothing we want to discard. Oh, didn't say two counter spells? Interesting. One, two, three, four, two. I mean, like, I'll trade with any two of these, I think. I feel like we should have attacked first, but I guess they're just going to let us go through, so. Let's go Sage. Um. Hmm. So next time we can keep up two of these. I probably just want to get rid of like Corridor Monitor here. I do want to play lands because we do want to hit this guy eventually. Actually, maybe it was... Maybe Corridor Monitor was... Corridor Monitor was probably better here, actually. They get plus one, plus one. That's still fine, actually. What we want to do is we want to run away... Run away together to this guy and then counter it all the way back down. If your significant other has pre-check and you do not, should they come with you through normal security, go through pre-check, and wait for you? They should go through pre-check and wait. Less people in the normal line is always good. Oh, that's a good strategy. That's a good point. Go through pre-check and get you a snack for when get you a snack for when you're done waiting. And that's a good idea too. Oh man, they should go through pre-check and grab lunch for. Oh man, I'm winning, but also she got through her line faster because my bag had to get checked. Um, this guy seems problematic. Yeah, let's get rid of it. Oh, no, we can't do that. We can't actually do that. Never mind. They should go through, go to Subway and get a meatball with mayo and then go through brain check. <laughs> oh, no, we definitely didn't do that. What's Jardinera? I don't even know what that is. I've never heard of that word. I feel like you made that up. Oh, 
Ooh, I like that. No, don't like that. But I do like that. So that's funny. I, mean, I think it's just Sanctuary here. This card's good. We're going to play these two together. Okay, you're going to go. <laughs> Significant other has pretty. God dang it. Calling me out on the stream here. I was like, no, I think I just got to go through pre check. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm familiar with Jardiniera. Jardiniera? Is that how it's pronounced? Where's the... Oh, yeah, I'm familiar with these bad boys. These are delicious. I'm also a big fan of cherry pepper relish, which is different, but also not that different. Oh, I'm crying. These eyes have seen a lot of love, but they never have seen another one I like I had with you. Jesus. This dude is a problem. We can just triple block this dude, right? And then if there's any kind of shenanigans happening... Oh, because then it comes to a 5... You know, it's going to be a 4-4. Four, four. It's a 4-4, four, four, so it's going to be hitting this dude for 4, and then hitting this dude for 4, but then it dies. We have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? Yeah, this seems fine. It's not great. Worst case scenario, we like just run it away together. Bounce our wistful mer wishful merfolk. Interesting that you kill the sage instead of the scarecrow. Oh, you're going to do some shenanigans? Oh, you're gonna. Oh, it's become a 5 5. Oh, that's much better. So now we got 3, 4, 5, and we can't kill it back now. Um. We'll run away together. Goodbye, little man. I'll see you later. I like bouncing this uh, Merfolk because it's cheap, so we can easily cast it. And then discard it, if we'd like. Right now, I'm kind of in the uh, the didn't say please mode. Or I want to just bounce that dude because good gravy. Let's see what we can get here. Why, what, in that got the mod to check it? What? Uh, yes. Hmm, Wicked Guardian. I'm just gonna keep discarding islands here. On a wicked island of bliss. Sup, loser, going to the Chinese buffet since I'm solo. Wow, I can't tell if he's talking to Gamaset or me. This is fine. He is talking to me. <laughs> Here we go. Here's your boy again. We're getting rid of this dude for sure. Alright, now I feel like we're just fine. Okay, so play this. We'll stack them in such a way. Uh, okay. Oh, and there's no stack because it's a human. So. Oh. Do -do 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 -do. So this is three, four, five. They have to double block. No, I guess they could just block and pump because it's uh, got some damage on his on his body. Hey, 
Thank you. Just gonna pass here. Because next time we can play this, draw a card, discard the island if we really need to. Chunk of junk. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down here. Guess I'll take a hot four. And then you're gonna play a little fairy 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 guide mother. An oven pizza. Isn't aren't all pizzas oven pizzas? Oh, that's interesting. Or we can just bounce something. The problem is I don't want to bounce this because then I get two more guys out of it. I don't want to bounce this because I got another pump out of it. So I guess we're just playing things. You have a counter spell? You have a, a didn't say you have another didn't you have two didn't say please in your quad white, quad white deck. Solid. Solid. Well, now we're just getting this guy back. Exile. Creature, one, two, three, four, five. Solid. Yeah, I'm just gonna attack with this. If they wanna trade with either, it's totally fine. Solid as a rock. <laughs> Jesus. I'll take it. It's gold, Jerry. Gold. I feel like they probably would have wanted to counter this first. Oh, what a non-bow. What an absolute non-bow. <laughs> okay. I don't even know what that does. All right, we're just going to pass here and hope you don't have a third didn't say please in your... <laughs> in your double quad white card deck so sure I think we have to be a little more aggressive now because this thing is really really beating the shit out of us here I guess we do have witches oven and other other things Dan's and I are watching you while we eat Thai food and then we're building sealed decks together. Quad frog emoji. I don't know what the frog emoji... I've nev never known. In the history of our entire friendship, I've never understood the frog emoji. I thought that was an Elias thing, so I'm actually surprised that you, you use it so frequently. Got him. Got him. Okay, so... Also, I love you guys, and uh, that's P cool. Like a rock. Really? What? Uh, oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I was like, what? Really? Why would you do this? That's a good block. That's a solid block, man. Solid as a block. 
Jesus, these are problematic, man. They get two more 1-1s, one -ones, but I don't think we're at a, p a point where we really care. And I will definitely loot here. Okay, easy choice. Easy game, easy life. Um, I'm also going to play this because if we want to sack something like the Wishful Marfolk can gain three life this turn. I think that's fine. Oh wow, that's that's something. Founder's badge means you were one of the first like twenty five subscribers to a channel. AM Jacker, I don't even see your Founders badge. If so, that's pretty sweet, dude. I really appreciate that. You tap it down and then you trap it in a tower, huh? Okay. Well... Makes my choice easy here. Oh, and we get two foods from that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Excellent. Something, something dark side. Uh, if an opponent has seven more cards in their graveyard. Let's just try to kill them. Solid as a rock. Great, now solid as a rock stuck in my head. One, two, three. Go ahead. I guess I'll take two points, two points of damage. pretty gas um the problem is they can block here block here and then this just does on tap and they both bounce i could bake this into a pie that puts oh this kind of like has five right i guess we can just attack with this which seems good let's do that Because then we just win next turn, right? Like, we know the one card in their hand, so I'm not, like, super concerned with that. Sure, there's a two for one.
Two of them graveyard cards. Yep. And there are no knights to put counters on. Uh, and we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, your turn. Next turn we'll have unblockable seven damage. So, you know, that's pretty cool, I guess. Okay. Guys, Lockmere Serpent is a real card. It's a real Magic the Gathering card. I kind of like didn't say please here because I got a bunch of nonsense that we're just trying to like... They have double quad white spells and double quad blue, double blue counter spells and Hypnotic Sprite, which is also double blue. It's very strange. Ugh. Bruh. I think there's a there's a sweet Namba between Into the Story and Lockmere Ser Serpent, but um, I think I'm willing to deal with it because Lockmere Serpent is so good. Uh, everything else seems fine. Wish Wish for Merfolk actually seemed okay, I guess. Witch's Oven gained a six life, which actually kept us alive, which was pretty gas. Is it just worse than a Giant Skewer though? Mm, not sure. I'll submit with 41. You guys know how I do. I think this hand's fine. We're on the draw. We can hit lands. Plus we have a 2 drop, a 3 drop, 4 drop, 4 drop, 5 drop. Oh man, Ginger Brute. Yeah, Serpent's insane. Every time I have Serpent, I'm like, oh, these were good games. But they were not GG's, they were BG's. He shacks my head? Hey, what are you shacking me head? That sounds like a an old an old Cockney slang saying. Oh, Castle Ardenvale seems great. Especially with that enchantment. Oh, we don't hit any lands. That's wonderful. Especially with the enchantment, or the artifact that you have, and the other the other gentleman. Solid as a rock. Really, Matthew? Why did you have to say solid as a rock? All I had to do was say that, and now it's in my head. Look at these bombs in my hand. I guess we'll just take four here. I'm explaining to Dan's what salt is right now. I feel like if you don't also explain what pepper is, then there's kind of, it's kind of a, oh, look, we did it, guys. Start creature from Romero's last name equals more cards in its controller's graveyard. What if their controller has no cards in their graveyard? Hmm. I mean, I don't feel like either of these are charm sleepable, but maybe they are. And we're at 12, for crying out loud. I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it. I guess we're just holding the line.
I mean, they don't even have blue. They don't have a blue mana, let alone two blue for like the two didn't say pleases in their deck. So it's very, it's kind of weird. That that card's just terrible. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. If we can draw black mana into like some other form of mana. I'd be very okay with it. Oh, Christ. Well, I figured out why their deck is actually decent. Wow, that's insane. The black-blue deck has no way to deal with that except for the counter spells we've boarded in. Yep, that's pretty fucking good. That's cool beans. <sighs> Why wouldn't you put it on this guy to give it unblockable? Oh, I guess it just doesn't. I guess it's it's flying and unblock. I don't. Yeah, okay, you're just pumping an unblockable guy. Sure, that sounds fine. It's just so bad. These rares. Castle Arden Vale, Circle of Loyalty. Worthy Knight we had to deal with last game, which like has two cards that uh I mean, if they want to trade Flyer for Scarecrow, I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, we had a... I felt like we had an uphill battle last game against their multiple pump spells and creatures, but this time it feels even worse with Circle of Loyalty. Fascinating. One, two, three. Tap four, make a guy. Tap four, make a guy. I mean, they don't have any flyers, so they're probably going to make one dude. We have a blocker for it. We can lock Mere Serpent. And try to win in like two turns, even though we're at two life. It's pretty brutal. If we can hit any land, we can we can bake into a pie and also gain the life. Josh, what's going on, buddy? Always good seeing you.
We can filter for second black, I'm aware, but like we don't have we're not gonna have enough to also crack the the food. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying we can crack the food and um draw the and draw and gain the life in the same turn. Yep, that's pretty good. We have five cards in hand. Oh good, now they for sure have it. Well, we have to play this and then promptly lose when they didn't say please if in their yeah. Cool. Oh god. <laughs> Glad we boarded in the second didn't say please. Not that it matters. If there's island didn't say please on top, I'm going to be quite okay with it. Wow, they haven't mulliganed once, even despite their ridiculous, like, quad white, quad white, uh, Mystic Sanctuary, and Swamp. I don't think we want either of these. Yikes. Okay. I mean, they don't have anything on board, so I'm okay with this hand. It's pretty strong. Sure. It's a hard cast Queen of Ice. I mean, I really just want to hit a land next turn, so I'm pretty sure we're just cracking Witching Well, maybe taking two. We could just play this. But I mean, being able to go land in a land seems really good. Yeah, let's just pass. I gotta mop the floor. Sing me some mopping tunes. Oh shit, I think I, I don't think I know any mopping tunes, but he's getting his mop on mopping that floor. Mopping that floor forever more. This is not good. You got it. Seems good. What do I think about the power creep in magic this year? I don't know if there's I don't know if it's necessarily power creep per se. I mean, there's always a few powerful cards in a set. Oko was just really strong. Uh, no blocks, because I cannot block. Dang it. Oh, Magic Online, you old trickster, you. Yep, that's a dude, alright. It would be a shame if that dude was stolen by the Fae. Oh, Dan's with the 21 rando bits. Appreciate you. You are awesome. Such Franker's ease. Such pog champs. Uh, 
Oh, that's that's asleep for now. You got it. Uh, this is a pretty easy block. Oh, Witch's Oven's great. I was afraid of running out this Lockmere Serpent in case they had trapped in the tower, but having a Lockmere Serpent seems very, very good. I also like just going Wicked Guardian, shooting this. And then playing like Murf Wishful Merfolk or something. Also, Witch's Oven with Pocanati and on board is pretty bonkers. <coughs> Excuse me. We can untap Bognati once, but that's not super exciting. I don't really want to run a, want to run this into a counter spell, so I think we're actually just uh, advancing our board some. Okay, I like that. That seems good. Can I tell Elk to take it easy on you when you play Magic right now? Matthew? You better cut her some slack. Or I will I will I will ban you so fast, my dude. No, just kidding, I wouldn't. But I might. Maybe. Actually. Which is oven plus Bognati seems pretty strong. Like, if they want to play their double striker, I'm just like, alright, I'll sack this Wishful Merfolk to kill it. I don't know what's going on right now, but I feel like we're doing well. When Oko cries, does he cry elk tears? Wow. God, I hope so. Standard beat with the bits. Elk Tears IP band bits. Sometimes you just need to do it. Oh yeah, give me that dude. This makes two foods? Oh yeah, let's make two foods. Wait, it's... Wait, is it... Toughness was for uh corridor monitor gets his four foods. That's pretty sweet. I mean, let's be real, we're doing just fine here. <laughs> Leaving the hospital from visiting my roommate. How's the draft going? Mediocre magic man, what's going on? I hope your roommate's okay. Thank you. I see. I see. That is unfortunate. J Monster, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. 
Yep, get your little one ones. They have one card in hand, so I feel pretty safe just dropping a Lockmere Serpent right now, to be quite honest with you. Hmm. Oh, run away together is great. We can bounce the Bog Naughty. Oh, you got Crohn's? Oh, man. Crohn's is rough, dude. We have five minutes. They have six minutes. This match is taking forever, dude. We have to make sure to try to win this before our time runs out. I didn't even realize our time. If they had some Mario music that was like... Doo -doo 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 do 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 Wow, all these guys are going to the front. All right, one, two, three, four, five. So no matter which of the twos we bounce, it's still going to deal five. So that's fine. Um, we're just going to kill these two, I guess. One, two, three. Oh, I guess we can kill all three of these. Yeah, that's fine. That's a good trade. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just gonna drop. So I'm just gonna drop this because, like, the odds of them having a counter spell over the trap is high. Plus, we get to uh, witch's oven. This guy. Yep. Um. Hmm. Thank you. I'm tempted to witches oven this because then they don't have a thing, right? If only we had one more land. Kirkland signature. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Yep, that seems good. Oh, that's that's nice. Okay. Sure. Seems good. Pass the turn to you, my friend. If they have one more card go to the graveyard, we can into the story, which is super nice. Guys, I can't focus on I can't focus on the, the chat right now. I have to actually focus on winning this game before time runs out. So, um, let's actually run away together because I think they're actually probably just going to counter this they did not okay fascinating so we know one of the two cards in there the one of the three cards in their hand no blocks also fascinating lots of fascinating things happening They're at 10. So we're like two hits away from, from killing them, which is fine. We can probably do that in three minutes. That does not seem difficult. All right, well, go to two, I guess. And we have two food outs, so we're basically at 23. Yeah, I think we're fine. 
Yep, Lock Mirror Serpent, not a real card. Okay, got him. Standard B, thank you for the bits. What did you say? Oko killed Standard and Epstein. Wow. Wow. What up, Kerwit? I almost forgot to mention that my dog got her catheter out and cone off today. Remember that whole... Yes, dude. How's she doing? Um, all right, so... I think we can keep this hand. I'll keep it. Okay, well, now we definitely want some mana. We didn't before, but now we definitely do. Come on. Come on. We did it. Live in the dream. We finally got a new toaster. It kind of looks like a spaceship. Kerwin ordered a toaster from Japan for like $300. That dude takes his bread seriously. Dude, Monsonster, I cannot believe the, the turnaround of this story. Like, it's unreal, and I'm so happy for you, dude. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. I don't know, man. Like, we could we could not counter that, but, like, we don't have anything going on. So it's like, why not? And, like, we'd have to play something on... We'd have to play, like, nothing on their turn. Yeah, that card's good, though. I guess we can Charm Sleep it. Give him the option to to block. Oh, Wolverine. Like in the comic books, you see. I will loot, and I will pitch Merfolk. Somehow a cat got onto the field at the Giants-Cowboys game and is now running around. What? And that's hilarious. Man, cats be crazy. Oh, we just won the game. Well, that's pretty good. Did not expect to win off of uh, Harvest Fear, but here we are. Here we are. I keep liking the didn't say please. I just feel like in the late game, if they have like some kind of like blowout, and you're just like, you did not say please. And I kind of maybe like, take out the wishful more folk. I'm eating a peanut butter bar? That sounds... That sounds just wonderful. Wow. Aggressive. Um. Yeah, I don't see why we play that here. We can keep up drawing on the lock just in case some shenanigans. Sure.
Boy, man, not drawing lands seems to be my biggest... Uh... How do you lose most of your games? Well, I don't draw lands. Oh, wow, drawing the lock is looking real good. Well, now we're feeling bad there. Five mana. You got it. It's pretty good. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I was thinking like, well, they can play a four drop and then we'll encounter anything with four or less and they can play five drop. It's like, okay. Seems good. <sighs> Boy. Yep, that's hard to deal with. Oh, goodness. I guess we have Charm Sleep in the deck. When does Cube start? November 16th? Next Wednesday, I think? No, not the 16th. November 13th, maybe? It, it, it runs for one week, which is kind of sad. Oh, uh, I don't know why your sub didn't show up. That is hard. That is hard to answer. Remaker, either way, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Well, that's a thing, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six.
Here comes second Lockmere Serpent. Searing Barrage. <sighs> Four cards left in hand, huh? I'll make some food. Take three. Five, six, seven. Oh, another black would be great here. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we'll just play Bog Naughty. Hmm. Meh. I mean, it leaves their serpent on the board, so that's good. Oh, it doesn't leave their serpent on the board? What the fuck? Oh, you're right. It tries to do as much as it can. I thought it was like an exchange for some reason. For some reason it's like, oh, well, if you exchange these two cards... Yeah, alright, whatever. This is dumb. <laughs> I'm not gonna, like, try to play against Lockmere Serpent. Hold on. I will play first. I will keep this hand. This is tricky because if we don't hit a fifth land, I'm just gonna play Sanctuary now. I don't care enough to to slow roll a Sanctuary. The other half of my acting class at uni is doing their scene showings today, but I look forward to catching. Hardest of core, have a good afternoon, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you. We could wait to play this, but I really want to go five into six and, you know, have something to bounce on six, so. An ideal draw would be... Hmm, interesting. Like, there's no way they're missing land drops, right? Maybe. Wow. Oh my god. That's terrible.
Why wouldn't you opt on your turn to hit a land? What? That's weird. I don't think I care about Witch's Oven here. I also don't think I care about the island. Bottom both of those. What? Why would you not opt to hit a land? That's crazy to me. You got it. Okay, shoot this guy. Play the land. Keep up, run away together. Oh, here comes the Onyx. Gadwick. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Thank you. Backlight, thanks so much for the resub, Chris. Really appreciate it, buddy. You are awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, this is fine. That's just fine. Five, six, seven. Actually, oh, so we can either keep up Din Say Please or into the story. Shut up and take my money. Oh, am I taking someone's money? First $5 towards your not being homeless in December fund. Love your content. I mainly follow you on YouTube channel. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Remaker, also, it's funny that you mainly follow me on YouTube because you are um, a sub on, on Twitch, which is awesome. I really appreciate it, man. I appreciate the support. Yeah, I'm not countering Tome Raider. I might counter 4 4 Flyer, though. 3 3 Flyer? Oh, we hit a searing. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's your boy. Remaker, thank you for the bits too, man. Really appreciate you. Pop these out because they're getting a little unwieldy. Um, they can draw four cards. I mean, but do we care? They get they have nothing on board at that point. I think we're just gonna keep up Lockmare Serpent. 
that guy just literally wins us the game. You got it. Tapped out of all your double blues. I live in Switzerland, so it's 4 a.m. for me. Yikes. I suppose it's my turn. <laughs> yep, that guy's good. Still broken. The Sunny Deal Burning Throat meme has to be the strongest meme this channel has produced. I sang it casually in front of a friend one time months ago, and then last week I said something else about Throat Burning, and they were like, like Sunny D, it really sticks with people. Dude, I was in I was in Baltimore this weekend and I was just like casually being like It'll I was just humming the Sunny D it'll burn your throat song. And I'm like, what is that I'm humming? Oh my god, it's a Sunny D song, which is not even a real song. It's a fake song that we made up. Stream muted while I eat, figured I could at least chat. What? I like that you're like, you know what? I'm eating right now, so I have to mute the mute the channel. I'll keep this. Vantress and, to and Tomb Raider if we hit a land. All right. That we made up stealing. I meant we is in the chat, the collective, the collective we, my dude. What's up, Red Cat? Uh, Mike has a job, so that's where he's at. Oh, yes. Get that Gargs out. This card's very good. Very good. All right, also very good. I guess we're just gonna play Tome Raider here. We could keep up didn't say please. I guess we can just didn't say please, right? Didn't expect that to last, buddy. You and me both, you and me both. Okay, I'll take one. If it's that, oh yeah, we're definitely countering that, dude. This is so many cards. Oh, we get a stone crawler serpent and a second trebuchet. Woo! Oh, well, we hit a second swamp for us, which means there are five left in our deck. That's a yikes for me, dog. This guy's got reach. Glad we didn't hit that. That seems nice. Oh, Valtrek, what's going on, Lancey boy? When are we count when are we continuing Outer Worlds tonight? 
tonight at like 1, 1 a.m. Eastern time. I'll be playing some more Outer Worlds because that game is a blast. Oh, you're gonna get your mm, you're gonna get your stone coal serpent back. I see. It's a it's a solid play. We hit a bog naughty. That's sad, but double black is looking like a a fantasy nothing really matters to me mama tap your trebuchet cast this queen of ice attack for one it is so nice Next turn, play lock me serpent. Gonna leave you all behind to be the truth. Four hours of the dentist and two different visits? Good lord, my dude. Lance, that does not sound normal. You want me to discard two? Sure. These two. I'll keep my bombs. Mama! Ooh! Don't be another swamp. Okay, drown lock's fine. I don't wanna die. Sometimes I wish I'd never been born at all. Carry on, carry on. Oh, drown it. We can put drown the lock back on top. That seems good. Send shivers down my spine, body is aching all the time. They slice my gums open to clean out an infection, then stitch them back up. Oh God! Oh Jesus! So yikes for me, dog. But I think this is all fine. I'm kind of shy of being able to like stolen the three drop and then also drown the lock. I have time to just make this guy unblockable, right? I, mean, I could have actually drowned in the lock of this guy attack with both. Yeah, that seems insane. I mean, whatever they... Yeah, I think this is fine here. Kretz Jr., my dude. What's going on, buddy? What's going on, buddy? 
always a always a good always good to see you, my friend. Oh, there's taking it. Wow. <coughs> what an absolute maniac. Yep, I'll go to 10. Goodbye, everybody. They pumped me full of Novocaine for both visits. I've been completely numb most of the day. That's my secret, guys. I'm numb most of every day. Oh, yeah, look at this guy. He's going to be like, I'm going to get on through. I'm going to be like, buddy, you're going to drown. I mean, do we just kill this thing? <laughs> Did I not have a chance to respond, or was that... That's interesting. I guess we can just wait now, because it doesn't have trample. So, that's fine. Let's see what you do, in case we need to counter something. Yeah, that's fine. Black, black, huh? Just getting up from nap now. Time to get ready for... Oh, man. Crutch Jr., what's your time zone? I don't think there's a black card here that can do anything. I mean, both Reeve Soul and Epic Downfall are sorcery, so... Yeah, so they cannot do what you wanted them to do. What did they have? They had... Nothing great. No offense. I don't mean to be rude. I just think our deck's good. Uh, I like this hand. Multiple defensive two drops. A three drop that can draw us into four mana. A fourth mana. Perfect. Just perfect. Oh, Order of Men. Let's prevent two. How's that sound? <coughs> uh, yeah, all right. What time is your stream starting? Uh, do you like I'll dream or Dominaria? I don't know. I think so. mm, they're both very good. They're both very good. They both held my interest for a while, which was super nice. Um, Crutch Jr., what are you... Which ones do you mean? Just in general? Usually it's around 2 p.m. Eastern time, but uh, today was a little different because I was flying and traveling. What's happening your stream? It's going on right now. You're missing it right now, dude. It's happening as we speak. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. 
let's get rid of Quarter Monitor and Merfolk. Because those cards are trash. And now I'm going to make you discard two cards. See how you like it. I bet you don't. I didn't find that many much fun loving throne though. Interesting, interesting. I think this is a recording. <laughs> don't Chris, don't give him my secrets, buddy. I like drafting Dominary Bitter, but I'm still not bored with Ultra. That's I think that's where I'm at too. Oh, now they can eat this, make it a little bigger. Unfortunately, we don't have much going on here, but Do we have a oh, do we have a queen over here? Oh, alright, we're doing it. Yes, queen, as the kids say. I've actually really enjoyed the gameplay of uh, of Throne of Eldrain. So long, Bell of the Brawl. I hardly knew you. But I knew you. I knew you a little bit, you know, and that's good enough. I'll take five here. They can stop playing things. Thank you. That's really nice of you. <coughs> this dude just never blocking at this juncture. I'm going to play this because if we draw another black source, we can play Reaper. Which is nice. Hold the trigger, I want to be here at the start so we can get that modern deck. Oh, man. You want to do it tomorrow? We can do it tomorrow. I'll be here at 2 tomorrow. I don't really want to go to less than this. Plus, this gives us like a couple turns. When you flip a Psychic Purge to a him, I have no idea what that means because those two cards, they're not super... Uh, fresh in my in my cerebral cortex. Are they gonna win? This is brutal. All right, I don't want that island. I did want that. Now we're talking. Now we are having a talk. Psychic purge is five to an opponent if they make you discard it. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I think I'm a monster, but I'm having a lot of fun playing standard right now. Yeah, that's gross. That's gross. Crutch Jr., let's do it tomorrow. Can you, Crutch Jr., can you send me any sort of updated list you may have? Oh, is this guy? No, that guy's just tapped. I was like, is this guy coming in too? Did I just make a mistake? No, he's just tapped. Oh, Jesus. Having a good time. Having a good time. <clears throat> well, if we milled like we should have, we would have not hit that island, but. So that's one here in Missouri. Sounds good. Sounds good. We should play some direct challenge matches in Arena sometime. Gotten to the point where I can build almost anything. Wow, you're so. What? Look at the humble brags on, on Valtrek over here. I would definitely not play tier one decks against you because I'm not a monster. This doesn't seem like a great attack, but I mean, they have. The, Sir Conrad's actually fucking insane draw, and they're probably just gonna crush us because of that. Oh, God. I wish this guy could block. That'd be great. So we're taking, what, three? This guy dies, so four, five. Yep, that's pretty brutal. Would love a baked in a pie to kill this dude right now. That's a swamp. That's not going to do it. Let's see if we should have milled. No, nope. All right. What's the next card? If we should have milled twice? No, it's just swamps. Just swamps for days. Okay. No, we can't find any removal there. That is unfortunate. I would have also taken a witch's oven, but I don't think that really does it. Wow. I thought making them discard down to one card would have been... Uh, would have been good, but turns out it was not. Pantra's Gargoyle, not not really uh, not really doing it here. 
<coughs> Needed to tap in response? Why? I mean, what does that do? I think it's fine. God, no swamps again, really? Jesus, come on. I'll keep it because, come on. Good lord. We just need to hit a, bl a blue source, I guess. Which, I mean, it's not impossible, but... Blue source! God, we're good at this game! <clears throat> Alright. Now we need some more blue sources. Oh boy. Well, we can counter whatever comes down here. And then we need a land. Then we need an island real bad. No. Island. Island. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Oh, interesting. That's fascinating. Give me a land. Land, 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 so I can bounce this dude. Land, so I can bounce this dude. Actually, Charm Sleep is probably pretty good, too. Actually, that's also pretty good, too, I guess. Yeah, I'm just going to put this dude to sleep. Good night. <clears throat> if they make us discard two here, it's kind of sad. We'll just obviously get rid of these two. Okay, that's fine. I accept. That's a big dude. I mean, I think we can actually just take six, play Bognaughty, and then, like, if they... Or we can replay... Hip we can play Hypnotic Sprite, and then keep up Runaway together. I kind of like that. Let's do that. Because then we can either bounce the, the Sprite or bounce the Tome Raider. We can also double block here, which is also pretty sweet, so... I'm okay with that. And if they try to do some shenanigans, we just get to... I mean, this is basically a two for two, right? Because we countered the Trebuchet. We got rid of a Trebuchet and a, and a Lockthwain Paladin for a Wishful Merfolk and a Hypnotic Sprite, so... You gonna pay some costs? This is amazing. That's a... Pretty big blowout, because now we have Hypnotic Sprite to play next turn, and they're tapped out this turn. They get to do the things, make them discard two cards this turn. <clears throat> that feels good. Wow. So the one card they kept was the the Paladin, the Paladin. <coughs> still looking for <clears throat> another land so we can stolen by the Fey when they play it. That's the only card we know about in their hand. I feel like we're doing well here. Okay. Yep, that's your boy. Now you're going to equip. Yep. Dun dun dun. Land. That will do. How many times are you going to have to replay that guy? I say three. That's my guess. Oh, 
Okay. <clears throat> so no lock playing Paladin. I guess they're like, I need to get deeper. I just can't keep replaying this guy, which makes total sense. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. That's all fine. <laughs> okay. Well, that'll do, pig. <clears throat> that'll do. So we attack for a million. Yeah, we just cast Lockmere Serpent. Next turn, they're just dead on board. Yep. And that's how you throw it. Guys, definitely check out patreon.com slash franklapore. It's an easy way to pay. You donate a dollar or two dollars a month to support the content. Um, you can find the link down below in the description. Um, we're going to block this gentleman. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons as well. Those are great ways to support the channel. You get better recommendations. And you let me know what you do and don't like. Leave a comment down below if that works for you guys. Lockthwain boy. Yeah, all right, that's the end. Let's see if he makes it unblockable. He did. Let's see if he attacks with everybody. He did that as well. Got <coughs> <laughs> graduated in five months, and one of the first things I'm gonna do is throw a large sum of money. Lance, you are awesome, dude, and I really appreciate you as as a as a supporter and as a, just a generally cool dude. Um, I'll try to remind you, but I I have a hard time like being like, hey man, you were gonna send me money because that's not a thing like I like to do. Um, I do like to, 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 to tell you guys ways to support the content. Like, hey, go to Patreon. Check that out. Go to go to twitch.tv. Check that out. Hit the like and subscribe buttons. Do those things. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons or gently tap them. And I'll see you guys next time.